the way it was described is that the poor people were basically just completely just, you know, people have drank a lot throughout history, right? Like, you drink liquor to not die of dysentery from having, like, infected water. People were drinking more than they ever had before. And basically, gin became, like, a public health crisis to the point where they decided that they had to, like, put a stop to it. And even now, like, they put this huge smear campaign, which is why gin to this day, people say that, like, uh... Gin gives you butt cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that specifically, but that's that's the general idea is that people, uh, you know, there's so many like negative terms for gin now or like people who drink gin or different types of gin, um, which I thought was interesting. Wait, what? Uh, I mean, gin is that true? Do people yeah. really it still has a negative connotation to this day because of it? I mean, I think you have, I think you have, I think yeah. you have bad taste buds, but I think I explained my history on that. I mean, that's, that's absolutely true. <laughs> um, so wait, so wait, this is fucking interesting. Did you not read about the history of Tomcat Gin and the entirety of your research on I this? I don't think so, but I mean... Because Tomcat Gin had a big part on that, and that's really the only section of that story that I know, which is weird, because it perfectly segues into Tomcat Gin. <laughs> so so um, Tomcat Gin is, um, from what the wonderful Isaac Aragas has told me, who was my bartender master? Um, he told me. He told me the way that Tomcat Gin used to work because you used, there's like six kinds of gin, and like Beef Eater does one, and like Bombay Sapphire and whatever those do is a different kind that's a lot more popular. Um, but there's this thing called Tomcat Gin which, that was developed in the wake of that crisis that they're talking about because it became a health disorder or a health problem. Because this is happening in the 1800s and bullshit. So what you would do is, there would be this guy, I think I told you about this last stream. There would be a guy who would walk around with basically this giant, like, like camelback. Camelback sponsors. Uh, there would be this giant, this giant backpack full of fluid. And, um, and he would have on top of his head, like, this giant tomcat that had these paws that would stretch out like this. And what you would do is he, you would, he would walk around and you would be able to, like, give him, like, a shilling or, like, uh, like a ten piece or something like that. And what you would do is you would put your mouth on one of these paws and he would just let this gin, like, flow down into your mouth until you've had your fill. And then he would just keep on walking. You do that because he'd just make this giant bootleg gin and pass it around. So people who wanted to get flash drunk would be able to just give up real cheap and just get fucking fluttered in the mouth. And that was one of the reasons why it's not popular and not used anymore because it's fucking nasty. <laughs> That's the dream, though, right there, isn't it? I mean, I guess. I was just telling a story earlier today to my wife about when I was in Central Park like six years ago and there was this guy running around with a backpack and he would make you flash mojitos before the cops caught him. <laughs> he just, just running around like, yo, you want some mojitos? So he just muddle some mint really quick and dump some fucking lime and shit. But you lost five bucks. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll take some fucking mojitos. <laughs> and he'd be like, hey, what are you drinking? I'm like, it's lemonade. I don't know. <laughs> That's basically yeah. That's a great story. Thanks, man. It's a pretty. It's a pretty. It's yeah. It's pretty good. I uh, save a lot of money and you get trash. It was definitely like watered down, but it was definitely pretty good though. 